Airplanes. You think flying is already the peak of innovation? Think again. The airplanes of tomorrow are not just faster, they're smarter, cleaner, and yeah, they might not even have pilots at all. Buckle up, because today we're diving into the future of airplanes, and trust me, it's way closer than you think. Picture this, a plane without a cockpit. Companies like X-Wing and Reliable Robotics are testing fully autonomous aircraft. They use AI and advanced sensors to take off, fly, and land completely on their own, no human pilot needed. Imagine cutting delays, reducing human error, and flying more efficiently than ever. Boeing and Airbus are investing billions into automation too. Some short-haul flights might be fully pilotless by 2035. Still skeptical? Well, driverless cars sounded crazy 10 years ago, right? Now, let's talk about the planet. The aviation industry is responsible for around 2.5% of global emissions, but that's changing fast. Enter electric planes, like Alice from Eviation. Fully electric, nine passengers, range of 500 miles. Silent, zero emissions, and it's already completed its maiden flight. And hydrogen? Airbus plans to launch the world's first zero-emission commercial aircraft by 2035. Hydrogen planes are powerful, clean, and perfect for medium-range travel. Remember Concorde? Supersonic flight is coming back, and faster than ever. Boom's Overture aims to cut New York City to London flight time to just three and a half hours. And Hermes wants to push it even further, with hypersonic speeds up to Mach 5. That's New York to Tokyo in under two hours. NASA's X-59 is also testing quiet supersonic tech. No more sonic booms, just smooth, ultra-fast travel. The future isn't just outside the plane, it's inside too. Expect mood-sensing lights, customizable seats, augmented reality windows, and in-flight VR entertainment. Flying won't just be transportation, it'll be a full experience. Airlines like Emirates and Qatar are already experimenting with biometric boarding, so no more fumbling with passports or boarding passes. The future is vertical, literally. Electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, aka EV tolls, are basically flying taxis. No runways, low noise, clean energy. Companies like Joby Aviation and Volocopter plan to launch air taxi services in cities by 2026. Think Uber, but in the sky. Yeah, the Jetsons weren't so crazy after all. So what's next? AI co-pilots, morphing wings, even transparent fuselages for 360-degree views. DARP is already funding planes that can change shape mid-flight. We're entering a new era of aviation, where tech, sustainability, and sci-fi ideas blend into something totally real. And it's coming faster than most people realize. Forget the tube with wings. The future of aircraft design is one giant flying wing. Blended wing body designs reduce drag, increase fuel efficiency, and allow more interior space. NASA and Airbus are already testing them. Imagine a plane with no middle seat, because everything's wide open. Bell Helicopter doesn't want to miss the next flying taxi race. Their answer, the Bell Nexus. Hybrid electric, five rotors, designed for human air mobility. It looks like something out of cyberpunk, and it's not just a concept. Electric planes are cool, but hydrogen-powered ones? Game-changing. Zero Avia successfully flew a 19-seat hydrogen electric plane. The goal? 500-plus mile range with zero emissions. Quiet, clean, and scalable. Two fuselages, six engines, a wingspan bigger than a football field. Originally built to launch rockets mid-air, the Rock is now a hypersonic test platform. It looks insane, and it's very, very real. From the UK comes the VX4, an EV tall that's as quiet as a dishwasher, all electric, range 100 plus miles, 200 mile per hour top speed. United Airlines already ordered 200. The future of city commuting just got wings. Boom isn't just talking, they're testing. This third scale demonstrator proves the tech for their full size overture jet. Supersonic travel's making a comeback, and this time, it's greener. France's Aura Aero wants to electrify short-haul flights. 19-seat hybrid electric jet. Entry target, 2028. Designed to cut noise and fuel by 80%. Finally, regional air travel without the guilt.
Wings that shapeshift and flight. Sounds like sci-fi, but it's here. Morphing wings adjust to speed and conditions, reducing drag and boosting efficiency. Think bird flight engineered. AI isn't just flying the plane, it's helping humans fly better. Real-time decision-making, weather prediction, emergency response. Think of it as Jarvis for pilots. No terminals, no TSA lines, just you, the tarmac, and a semi-private jet. These new airlines use small aircraft and private terminals to save time and stress. First-class feel without first-class prices. See through the plane, literally. Panoramic views, interactive seats, and augmented reality windows. No more staring at a seat back for eight hours. Flying taxis won't land in your backyard. They'll land here. Rooftop landing zones, battery charging pads, smart traffic control. Cities like Dubai, LA, and Singapore are already building them. Wright Electric wants to launch the first all-electric 100-seater by 2030. One-hour flights, zero emissions, designed for routes like LA to Vegas. It's not just a small plane thing anymore. Flying is stressful. Let the robots help. From robot guides to AI check-ins, your next flight might include a robotic butler. The airship is back and better than ever. Hybrid airship can hover for days, massive luxury cabin, 90% fewer emissions. Think cruise ship in the sky with less noise and more style. Sustainable aviation fuel, aka SAF, is already flying. Made from algae, waste oil, cuts life cycle emissions up to 80%, used by major carriers like United, KLM, and Lufthansa. Cleaner skies without reinventing the engine. Military aviation goes next gen. Rotor blade tilt system, top speed 290 plus miles per hour, compact but lethal. Fast, quiet, and built to replace Blackhawks. Want to own your own private pod, even in economy? Noise isolated seats, ambient lighting, fold out entertainment bubbles. It's like flying inside your own cocoon. Why fly through the sky when you could fly through space? Suborbital flights may one day take you from New York to Sydney in under two hours. It's expensive now, but give it time. The sky isn't the limit anymore. It's just the beginning. If this blew your mind, hit that like button, subscribe for more tech deep dives, and tell us in the comments which futuristic airplane do you want to fly on first. Thanks for watching. Stay curious and see you in the skies.